AJ's NFC South. And we'll start right there, AJ. We'll do it. You and you and gambling, the gambling man, Calvin Ridley can start things off and your Atlanta Falcons. They've got quite the interesting off season ahead of them. That's, that's the most cliche. I think I can say, uh, obviously guys like did Dante Fowler, Cordero Patterson guys that are, uh, that are on the, uh, signing list. Which one do you want the most? Do you want, do you want to bring back Cordero Patterson? Are you like, that's where I want to start with you. Do you want to bring back Cordero Patterson or do you, are you okay? letting him go. I'm okay. Letting him go. Um, listen, great season. Great year. Fact of the matter is, he's a 31-year-old Swiss Army knife. And one team in nine years, my Atlanta Falcons, have figured out how to use him. And that says a lot more to me than the great year that he had. Am I saying he couldn't do it again? I'm not saying that. But if I had to bet on it, <laughs> I think being 31, 32 <laughs> nice. years old and on another team, I, I, I don't see it. So if we keep him, I'm okay. Because we obviously have a plan in place and we need another receiver. Uh, so I'm okay. But if he has to walk, if he gets more money somewhere else and he goes, I'm not losing sleep over it. We have so many other holes to worry about than 31 year old Cordero Pass. <laughs> Great year. Help me win some yeah. fantasy leagues. I appreciate him. <laughs> and I'm glad we were the ones that figured it out. But I, pr- I appreciate it. Uh, Dylan, uh, remember Dante Fowler? I do. Remember, remember his him? sack celebration? I do remember his. Hey, hey, that Jags team had probably a, like the best lineup of sack celebrations. Calais, Calais. With, the, with the home run. You got Malik <laughs> Jackson, Jackson, and then you got Dante Fowler Marcel doing his. Th- Darius. Hey, hey, <laughs> see, hey, we need that 2017 D back. Uh, AJ, lots of fish, lots of lots of big fish in the pond here of free agency. Who's the one guy you're going after if you're the Falcons? You know, we talked about this guy a lot. And uh, as we know, the Falcons now need wide receiver help. So let's go ahead and break the Jacksonville Jaguars heart for the second time in a calendar year. And let us get Allen Robinson. Listen, Allen Robinson, this isn't a, oh man, Allen Robinson's available. Let's go get him. This is a great timing situation for everyone involved. Over the last four years in in Chicago, Allen Robinson has not even average a thousand yards per season, 3,500 yards in four seasons with Mitch Trubisky. Ooh, I said his name. And then Whoa. you finally get excited. You finally get excited about a young prolific quarterback in Justin Fields, what he might be able to do for you. But then you have to pair him with Matt Nagy. They don't know how to figure it out. The fact that he only had 66 targets and 38 receptions, one touchdown on the year for Allen Robinson is re damn ridiculous. If you bring him over to Atlanta for Atlanta, who doesn't have a lot of cap space, Unfortunately for Allen Robinson, his years have not made the fact that we need to go pay him a lot of money. He would come in on a prove-it deal. He gets to come into a spot with a veteran quarterback who can who knows how to play the game and can be a number one wide receiver immediately. His catch radius, his target will help him at Ryan make a lot of completions that he wouldn't make without Calvin Ridley. Uh, and it gives him the opportunity to when everything hits a fan and Matt Ryan's gone the year after, after his prove-it deal, he may be able to go and get one last big contract. Big, quote-unquote. I, I, aggressively I medium i don't like it i i can't speak for the guy alan robinson here but i think you know this is a guy who's played for the jacksonville jaguars and the chicago bears i mean that sounds like a death sentence i mean you get an opportunity to play on some teams that have potential deep runs 2017 the jags torn acl he doesn't get to play they get to play in the 2018 double doink game where they're actually looking like a team that could potentially win they put up 15 points they don't win the game and he's sitting on his couch again i mean I don't think he wants to go to Atlanta because it's not really an attractive spot. He's not going to get a ton of money there. We know their cap issues unless they clear some and he could be the wide receiver one there. He will be, but it's, it's another one of those situations where he's going to be stuck late June or not late June, uh, late, late December, early December, sending out tweets of why is he even there? And that's going to be Allen Robinson for you. Yeah. It's funny that like, this is, I, I, I don't think there's a chance in hell that Allen Robinson goes to a team that's not a playoff team. Like, that's where I'm at with Allen Robinson. There's no chance in hell. This is the first time in Allen Robinson's career that he has had the ability to really choose where he really wants to go. Like, this is like it's all up to him here where he wants to go. And he's – what what you in the front? You finish you, your statement. I, oh, I'm done. I'm done. There was no there were there was nothing else to it. He he wants to choose where he's going to go, and it's going to be to a playoff team, not the Atlanta Falcons. Who's to say Atlanta's not a playoff team, sir? 
Oh my gosh. Me. Uh, you just me. said they have a ton of holes. Who's the running back? Mike Bowling Ball. Guess Davis? who else has holes? Guess who else has holes? The New Orleans Saints? The Carolina they're not Panthers? A team. They're the not Tampa a playoff team. Yeah, we're Tampa not talking. We're not. No, I guess none of those teams are right? playoff teams. <laughs> right. and well, one of them has no to be. No one does. Yeah. Pick up what I'm putting. We're talking about real playoff teams. Y'all are like the AFC South right now, okay? There's no. Well, you are worse than the AFC South right now, actually. The NFC South is worse, or worse than the AFC South. I don't know about that. We have Tennessee. That's all we have. That's all we. We have a team. We have a representative. You guys don't have a representative. Good. Yeah. Hey, there was once upon a time where all the teams in the NFC South were sitting at seven and nine and making the playoffs. So I ain't really hey, mad at it. I'll say this: if Matt Ryan doesn't win the division, he's got. I mean, they got a problem. You're, you're gonna Ryan Sam Indianapolis. Darnold, you're gonna let Sam Darnold, a mystery box in uh, New Orleans, and a mystery box in Tampa win a division. 